Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd ayy lahabati fillah Islam is not based upon our desires and we do not explain the Qur'an and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and its rulings based upon our desires and often you'll find people unfortunately amongst the Muslims who attempt to explain away Islam in accordance with their understanding and with their desires and what's even worse than that is when you have people who lie about Allah and sometimes they're not even Muslims even in fact today I had an engagement with a, a discussion with a, a non-Muslim and he tried to tell me what the Quran contained he said the Quran doesn't say that subhanallah is there any misguidance after misguidance? Listen to this beautiful statement of Imam Ibn Abdul Barr with regards to the levels of understanding the religion. He said, وَتَفَقُوا أَهْلَ الْإِسْلَامِ عَلَىٰ أَنَّ الدِّينَ تَكُونَ مَعْرُفْتَ عَلَىٰ ثَلَاثَ أَقْسَامِ أَوَلَهَا مَعْرُفْتَ خَاصْ الْإِيمَانِ وَالْإِسْلَامِ وَذَلِكَ مَعْرُفْتَ تَوْحِيدِ وَالْإِخْلَاسِ وَلَا يُسُلْ إِلَىٰ عِلْمَ ذَلِكَ إِلَّا بِنَبِي صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ فَهُوَ مُوَدِّي عَنِ اللَّهِ وَمُبَيِّن لِمَرَادِهِ So this is part of the statement of Imam Ibn Abdul Barr Rahmatullah alayhi He said, and the first, uh, he, he mentioned, he said that the scholars or the people of Islam are in agreement that there's consensus with regards to the religion uh, and knowing and understanding the religion is on three, uh, is divided into three types. He said the first is no, is the specific understanding of Iman and Islam. And this is by understanding Tawheed, you know, monotheism, and Ikhlas, sincerity. And you, and a person does not attain this knowledge except through the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he was the one who actualized and articulated what Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala meant in the Quran and wanted through his revelation in the Quran. And then he mentioned the second type. He said, Ma'rufatu Makhraj al Khabr al Deen wa Shira'ihi. Wadaliki Ma'ruf the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the so then he said the second uh, division or category uh, for understanding this knowledge, he said it is understanding through uh, the khabr of the deen, you know, the what the foundation of the deen, the foundation of the religion and the sharia. And this is only through understanding and knowing the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who Allah has explained the religion by from his tongue and by his hands meaning the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then he mentioned the the third uh division of understanding this knowledge he said ma'rufat sunan wa wajibaha and he said, he mentioned the third division for understanding this religion. And he said, and it is knowing the sunnah, you know, that which is the, the sunnah, the authentic sunnah of the Prophet and the uh, the obligations with regards to it. And the manners of implementing it, and the knowledge of its rulings, meaning the ahkam, ilm al ahkam, meaning the rulings for how we understand the religion, the fiqh, and the hukum, uh, the different ahkam of the religion. And this is just some of the beneficial speech of Imam Ibn Abdul Barr. which illustrates for us the importance of al uh, uh, al-nafiya, al-ma the sunnah, 
and that the only way we can understand Islam is by the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So many people belittle the sunnah and don't understand the sunnah and reject the sunnah in one form or another. How many Muslims do you know who say, well, you know, hadith, it can be uh, differed over or this or that, but, you know, we just follow the Quran or something similar, some statement similar to this. This shows us the danger of belittling the sunnah and that so many people really don't understand, as Imam Baba Hari articulated, Islam who was sunnah was sunnah to heal Islam. That Islam is the sunnah. And the sunnah is Islam. You can't have one without the other. Kitab was sunnah. And the Prophet ﷺ said that he left his sunnah behind. How do we understand his sunnah? From a hadith. It isn't from the Quran. But the sunnah explains the Quran as the Quran explains the Quran. This is Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam left this so that we would not become misguided. And we ask Allah the Almighty for his good 